Yeah, Sean. I need to see. I need to see what it feels like. There he is. There he is. There he is. You called it, dude. That was sweet. What is that? Yo, what the? It's a nice brown. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a good one. You freaking called it, Brady. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Look at that. Nailed it, bro. Up top. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Thank you for the nut job, dude. That's. Sick. Dude, that's my biggest. That's that's my biggest brown ever, hands down. That's like average. That's average. Yeah, average. Are you kidding no, me? That's average. <laughs> Dude, that may or may not have been the unreal. Fish. I cannot <laughs> believe this. We've been out here for how long? Maybe like an hour or so. And that is my biggest brown trout ever. So kind and <laughs> so amazing that. to Brady to invite me out here and <laughs> show me the ropes. This is a huge learning experience. Oh wow, she's geek. Oh look at she's that. She's doing a little milk in there. <laughs> Oh no! You boys didn't even say anything. I was he likes like, you, John. I thought it was just dripping water. <laughs> really epic. Look at that. Boosh. Today I decided to skip the intro and go straight to the hook set. I'm not in the Amazon anymore. I'm not in Dallas. I'm back up north. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking, why the hell do you keep going back up north? It's so cold. You live in Dallas. It's warm. It's beautiful there. It doesn't make any sense. But the thing is, is I'll never not be a northern angler. I love ice fishing. I love roughing it in the cold weather. It's just, I don't know, it's engraved in my blood. And it's something I always enjoy doing. The other day I was on Instagram, scrolling through the DMs, and this dude right here slid in him. His name is Brady, he's a Wisco angler, and uh, he was so kind enough to invite me out today to do some trout fishing. Now this time of year, I'm usually doing a lot of ice fishing stuff, but uh, the weather's been fairly funky in Northern Illinois and Southern Wisconsin. The ice has been freezing, melting, freezing, and now we're on the uh, melting decline. I don't, I don't like ice fishing, particularly. <laughs> I'm not that good at it. So as long as I can bust out the float rod, I'm gonna bust out the float rod. You're more rod. of a nine foot rod as opposed uh, to a 24 inch rod. Yeah, kind of yeah. I am a, I am a nine to 11 foot rod kind of guy and that's what I love sticking with. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Like, I don't know if you guys see this, but that right there is a healthy bit of ice. So just because this ice is melting, don't think that it's not like actually still freezing cold. Like this morning it was what in the twenties or something like that. It's starting to warm up. It's gonna be really nice, no wind, but I'm just pumped to be out here. I love fishing in the cold and I love chasing after fish that I don't know how to chase after. I expected to come out here and see fish, watch the bobber go down, but in the back of my head, I know it's fishing and these trout can be very wily. They're not like bass, so I'm just really thankful for these guys to teach me how to do it. Holy smokes, and we're not done yet. This is just the beginning, folks. Land that giant. Scoop. Dude, broke the dust off. You were saying how you haven't had a single down bobber all day, so. First one. That's it. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, it's a good one. 10 o'clock bike. Oh, that's a nice one, bro. It's a nice one. Get him. Yes. Let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. That one is a little bit bigger than the last one. Welcome to Brown Town. Yeah, welcome to freaking Brown Town is right. Population fat brown. <laughs> Two browns in one day. I knew you guys were like on a bite, but I didn't think you were on it like this. Really nice fish. There's something kind of cool. I didn't know this. But they just explained to me that they clip out the, is it always the right pectoral? That indicates a stocked fish. Wow. And the adipose, both. So while you guys may think this is a deformity, it's meant to do that just to kind of track the population. Best part is putting these guys back for someone else to land them. Whew. After all that fight, they still have that much power to kick off. Man, trout, who knew, right? Check out how sick this hood looks. I look dope, I got this sweatshirt in, in Sweden. I'm using it in Wisconsin now to keep me real warm. Rounding up spot number one. A nice little flurry at the end there. It was kind of hectic to film. I realized that these fish are not easy to film because they're just like so powerful. They bite really quick. You can't really stop what you're doing to pick up the camera because that fish has got to hit the nut before it meets the rocks and snap off and you lose a, you know, a potentially giant brown trout. Anyway, first experience, true experience with brown trout, insane. I cannot believe that I have not fished for these fish, like ever. It's taken me, what, like 23 years to encounter these guys? And those fish, according to Brady, 
weren't even that big. Like they're big fish, obviously, but for a brown in Lake Michigan, those aren't even the giants. Like these fish get up to, I mean, if you're really, really lucky, 30 pounds. The game plan, I believe, and I don't want to speak for the guys, but I think we're going to go to another spot. We're going to go to a river and try that out. That was a lot of fun. Knocked out two browns there at the end after my second one. It got like super like chaotic. Okay, cool. I'll follow you guys. So the verdict is we're heading to a river. I got to find my keys though. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Spot number two. Spot number two. Are we fishing here? Oh, I'm moving up a little bit. J just kidding. Not spot number two. This is, um, we're not fishing here. Never mind. Now this, this is spot number two. But this is the zone. This is we are we have made it. I keep saying zone too much. This is the spot. Just bring one rod, right? One rod. One rod. Okay, cool. All right. So quick question. They go to these rivers to spawn, right? Yes. And they spawn what? Starting November to? Well, browns usually start spawning late September if the conditions are oh, right. Oh, late they, September. Yep. Whoa. They keep going till mid March, late March. So they're out like in the main lake and they move into like these tributaries and mm -hmm. harbors and they do yep. their thing. And they'll stay in here even after they spawn and you'll get them down in the the lower river and here empty of eggs but they're eating so ferociously it's, really you really can't and do they drop back or are they in oh yeah they drop, drop back, back and they yeah. uh they regain their eggs and they come back into spawn that's how you see Damn. those you know 15 pound 20 pound germans that just keep coming you are just that are loaded with full yeah. food and eggs and, and such dude it's so weird thinking of like of a fish that moves that much as a bass angler the <laughs> idea of a fish moving from big lake to like a small tributary is so yeah. forward to me i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't fish carp in this water it looks so freaking dirty if i saw this i wouldn't even cast a jig in there for largemouth how big of a drift like a couple like 10 feet whole bend the whole bend nice this is sweet this is what's making this whole operation go down hand tied by yours truly right you, you hand tied these what are you thinking chartreuse with the dirtier water okay let's start chartreuse we got pink and chartreuse the pink has definitely been the most generous to me this day but we're gonna try the chartreuse lucky kiss On, on, there we go. Brown trout, oh, dude, oh, he ate it twice. I thought it was a snag. He brought it under, popped back up, brought it under. Oh, it's a female, is that a female? Yeah. Woo, sweet. Get, 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 get. Big Scoopy, woo! Nice net job, dude. You're yeah. on fire right now. <laughs> first female, first hen. Yes, sir. Oh, hell yeah. Pinder. Pinder in the freaking river. I really want to catch one here. Just because of how cool this it's looks, so man. It's so much better. It's so much more fun. Right in the corner. The first female I've caught of the day. Actually, probably my first ever brown female. I don't think you guys realize how new this type of fishing is for me. Like, we're talking, like, I've broken my personal best three times today. Three times. Gorgeous fish. Nice little hen. They are spawning, so a lot of the... A lot of the males are very easy to distinguish between the females because males have that crazy kipe and that kipe is that insane looking jaw. See how like tame this jaw is? Just looks like a regular trout. That means it's most likely a female fish. Not as big as the uh, last two, but quality, undoubtedly. It's so weird, dude. Never in a million years. Like, I, I could, I, driving past this, there's no way I would ever guess that there would be fish of that caliber swimming in this water. Not only is it dirty, but it's tiny. It's in a very urban area. It's just weird. I'm learning a lot today. Yes, oh, look, dude, that fish bit right, like right, what, probably like right there. I don't have a net this time to do this. All right, you can just go grab that. You gotta bring you it up. You probably beach it. Here you go. Get him. Oh, oh, nailed it. No. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, that's really sick. That's a female. <laughs> Number one. That was a miss. I drifted that same spot twice. Oh my God, what a, f oh, I snapped clean. Oh, for real? For real. And I busted the float. Sorry, dude. I had one too. You on? Nice one. I'm gonna get the camera. That's it. That's the fish right there. Oh boy. I can't move it, dude. Dude, that fish is pulling you to it. Yep. Oh my god. Nice fish. Doing that big brown head shake. Spinning the stratic today. Always giving her a good workout. Oh, it's barely hooked, Grady. In. There we go. Woo! Nice. nice. There we go. Wow. There. 
They're such like photogenic fish. It wasn't even my fish and that felt good. <laughs> I think I broke off on a hook set too, as soon as Brady had his. Way to go. Nice. Dab on the browns. I'm on. I'm on. Yes. Yes. Three more drifts. That was my third one. Dude, that was the crustiest hook set of my entire life. Did you see that? That was bad. Oh, nice brown. Dude, unbelievable. Four brown trout. Not a bad one either. Not too shabby. Big butte, big butte, big butte. In the net. Nice job. Thank you, Grady. Hell yeah, that is a pretty fish. Take a look at that, folks. That is gonna be the last brown of the day. Probably the prettiest one of the day as well. Just all speckled up. Check it. Last brown, big bang finale. Thank you boys, this was no fun. Problem, so much fun. And that is all she wrote. Pretty stellar day in Southern Wisconsin if I don't say so myself. I gotta say today would not have been possible if it weren't for the crew. Brady, Grady, Noah, Ryan, Scott, all those dudes played a huge part in making today happen. Teach me how to catch these fish, shedding some light on the brown trout as a species, and just kind of giving me an inside look as to what it's like to be an angler in Southern Wisconsin. I had a lot of fun today. Even aside from the fish catches, I really enjoyed myself and these are some great people to fish with. Those dudes are hardcore. I think they're gonna fish for another maybe three or two hours. I don't know, whenever it gets darker on here. I gotta focus on the road though. I'm peacing out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are still digging them Amazon uploads. Stay safe, keep warm, and as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.